Hey guys, it's Shane with Cascade Refining for another one of our educational series videos. Today we're going to be talking about electronic scrap. Now here at Cascade Refining we generally tend to focus on things like jewelry scrap, uh, plaster gold, uh, gold nuggets, that type of stuff. However, we also purchase stuff like electronic scrap. Um, it's not a very big part of our business model. We don't have a, nearly as much volume this way, but it is still something that we can purchase from you. Um, a lot of people have lots of questions about their electronic scrap and what it's worth. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of a difficult thing for us to determine, uh, particularly sometimes over the phone. Uh, the easiest way for us to determine what your stuff is worth is being able to actually physically look at it. When we are buying electronic scrap, we are buying it specifically for the gold-plated material that's on here. Stuff like this on these fingers, um, on these CPUs here, you'll see quite a bit of it right here on the main face and on the, on the prongs there. That's what we're going after. So a good way for you to determine for yourself at home if something's worth bringing in as electronic scrap is if you have a look at your material and determine just about how much gold is there on this stuff comparative to the whole piece. Something like a, a motherboard like this, this is a very typical motherboard you pull out of a personal computer or something like that. Um, there's going to be a little bit of gold material in here. Generally it's going to be in these little fingers in here. Um, every once in a while you'll also have them on the audio connections over here. But for the most part something like this there's a lot more other stuff than there is gold. You're going to get a lot of uh, these metal connectors and all that kind of stuff. That type of stuff will generally drive the price down rather than up. Um, so for the most part, something like this, a motherboard will go anywhere from a dollar to two dollars a pound, plus or minus a little bit. Uh, that is kind of subject to uh, the buyer that is pricing out your material. Uh, things like RAM, for example, there's a lot less silicone and plastic on these types of of, uh, of pieces uh, comparable to the amount of gold on there. So something like this RAM is worth more than a motherboard because there's less other stuff that we're going to have to dispose of at some point. This stuff will generally run anywhere between three and eight dollars a pound again depending on a, on a case to case basis. Um, things like CPUs like these pieces here are worth much more um, again simply because there's more gold by weight than there is on pieces like RAM and motherboards. Um, you'll also find pieces like these guys here. This one's worth a little bit. Uh, again, it's mostly going to be silicone, plastic, and transistors, that type of stuff. Um, this stuff is not worth quite as much as maybe a motherboard, 50 cents, 75 cents a pound. And then you have guys like this guy. This is something that we wouldn't generally be very interested in because for the most part, there's really not a whole lot on there that we want. There's a lot of copper stuff. There's some aluminum, aluminum heat sinks. There's a lot of transistors. Um, none of which really contain any gold, which is what we're going after when we buy this material. So, um, worst case scenario, if you have any questions about the material that you have at home, obviously you're welcome to bring any of your stuff by. We'll happy to uh, weigh it up and price it out and do our best for you. Um, and that's really about it.